Hey, Calabal CNC vlog here. So, uh, this is um, some of that uh, poly tarp, uh, polyethylene uh, blue tarp material that I've got. And um, this is some parchment paper that I got from Walmart that's supposed to be non stick. I'm not sure if it's really going to work as non stick. So, we're just going to do a little experiment here and we're going to see if it works like it's supposed to. I'm going to melt some of this. I've got my heat gun ready to go. And we're just going to melt it with a heat gun and we're going to see if this really does uh, perform as a non-stick for the plastic that's melting. Um, so here we go. If not, I'll have to go get some wax paper tomorrow. So I got a little toothpick here and uh, we're going to start melting this. I'm setting it for about 500 degrees on the, the heat gun. So. Oh, it blows around. Well, when it's in the pot, it won't do that quite so much. Okay, there we go. We want very low temperature. Yeah, it's melting it all right. Look at that. There you go. Yep, it's melting it. Yeah, buddy. The pieces are moving around though. There you go. Create a little melt pool here. It's funny how it pulls in when it melts like that. That's interesting. Okay. I don't want it to burn, but I can smell a few fumes coming off there. I shouldn't be doing this in a closed in space, but I'm just <clears throat> since I'm doing it over this thing, it shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, it's melting all right. 500 is probably quite hot. So far it seems to be working on the non-stick part. Ah, there it's starting to stick. We'll see if it really sticks, though. Maybe it's uh, getting cold on the bottom because it's concrete down there, the cold concrete. But let's see here if it works. Yep, it looks like it's working. It gets a little bit sticky there, but it peels off, ultimately. Yep, it's coming up. I don't know if it's a little bit more liquid, maybe it won't it won't be quite as lucky, but I think we're gonna be in good luck. At least for this plastic. I don't know when I start working with polypropylene and LDPE and HDPE uh, PET or whatever, I know I don't think I'm gonna be melting PET this way with the molds, but I might be doing PET with molds later. Anyways, this is uh, quite promising. So there we have it, the very first experiment. Experimental melt. I think I can turn the fan up now. And probably turn the temperature up too. Let's see what we get out of this. Yep, that's good. See if I can get it to be a little bit softer.
Don't know if that's going to zoom in or be out of focus, but it's uh, I want to see if I can get it really good and wet, good and melted. And bring the temperature up to 600. Yep, it is still melting really good. With no, not too many problems. Oh yeah, that's really that's really melted down now, so it's going to take about 600 degrees to, to get it really goopy. Yep. Nice and goopy now. That's what we want. All right, now, I'll let it cool off. That's on cool down feature. I'll let this cool down. Yep, it's cooling all right. Good. And it's as stuck on there as I can possibly get it. Okay, yeah, it's, it's cooling off. It's still quite hot to the touch. And it sticks on the fingers, so watch out with that. Still a little bit sticky. It's starting to stick to that. Ooh, ooh. I can test it this way. It's still quite hot to the touch. But it doesn't you know, for, push it down that way. All right, let me come back to this once it's cooled off to the touch and then we'll do a test peel to see if we can peel that off of there. All righty. All right, so it's cooled to the touch. And it actually came right off. So, have no problem melting this and sticking it on here, at least with straight polyethylene or polytarp, um, the blue tarp material. No problem at all. So we're gonna go ahead, I'll stick this back with the scrap and we'll melt it back down when I do the rest of it. And uh, we'll go ahead and proceed with that. I'll probably start tomorrow. I don't think I'm gonna start on this because this is gonna be a big mess when I get around to it. Um, the only thing I'm worried about is the temperature on this melting temperature seems to be a little bit higher. So we'll see how it works with uh, peanut oil and a pot with a burner. Um, we'll see how well that's going to work. I'm not sure. We'll just have to play it by ear and see how it goes. Alright, see you later. Bye.